welcome back to a quick episode today. I've had my turn with the old cock scare fire today. Um, weather's had a bit of a break, so I thought I'd get it out and um, do a bit of a, I don't know, not quite a lawn renovation, but just tidy it up a bit. And I ran the scare fire over it, and it is unbelievable. This has got the um, Zonchen GB210 motor. He's a beast. It's just pulling so hard. It's just such a good machine. Uh, anyway, I'll show you the job it's done. I didn't do too crazy. I just did a little bit, but I'll show you exactly what it's done to the, uh, the back lawn. So let's have a look. Okay, so that's untreated this side and that's treated now. I didn't set it too deep, but it is absolutely pumping the amount of dead stuff out, as you can see there. So I'm ready to sort of mow all this up and then scalp the lawn. Um, but it's unbelievable. It's such a strong machine. And I'm not just saying that, it's actually really, really good. So I'm gonna go ahead now and clean it all up and uh, see what it looks like after. Okay, so I've done a bit of a light cut, like a pretty heavy cut, sorry. I, I um, aerated it yesterday and I've done the scarification. Now I am going to oversaw it with a Queensland blue. So I'm hoping to have a blue green mix here. Now I've never really done this before, so I don't know how it's gonna work. Um, there's a lot of loose soil there now due to the scarification and the aeration. So I'm hoping that this will take and we've got a bit of rain coming over the next week. So hopefully that'll help keep the uh, seed nice and wet and hopefully it germinates. So uh, I'll put that out now and uh, we'll see how we go. Okay, sorry, there's lots of birds around, but this is about a week and a half later and I haven't seen much growth of any of the blue cooch seeds. So I was a bit concerned, but yesterday afternoon I had a bit of a look around and I actually found a little few bits. So as you can see here, I'll bring up nice and close. So where's one? There's one there. Those little tiny shoots. Okay, there's another one there. So all the blue cooch is starting to germinate now. So I don't think it's too long and then it's all gonna start cracking on. So um, there's a bit of method to my madness with uh, laying this blue cooch seed out as well. Uh, and I think I've got it. So as you can see, yeah, we're seeing nice little bits of growth there. So my weird plan was to basically scarify it, thin the lawn out slightly. And basically what I wanted to do is over sow it with that uh, blue cooch and with the seed and see if I could actually um, get anything to grow. Now, apparently blue suit, uh, cooch seed is really hard to grow. So I wasn't sure whether it would actually go or not, but so far it's looking promising. So I've kept water up to it for the last little while and uh, I'll probably have slacked off a little bit, but we are getting a lot of rain due for Brisbane very soon. So I'm going to uh, hopefully that's gonna help me out. Um, and I have been keeping it nice and wet as well. Um, but basically what I want in the end here is a blue green mix lawn um, because my green cooch was sold to me as this all mighty great in the shade, all this sort of stuff, and it just really struggles now. There's parts of my area of my yard that are really, really shaded, and I have blue cooch there, and it's like a natural blue cooch, and it just grows there really, really well. So I, I sort of thought, bugger it, I'll bite the bullet and I'll actually throw it in, and we'll just see how it actually goes. So bit of trial and error here. I'm happy to see how it looks. And if not, then I can uh, spray it out and I can lay some blue cooch if I really want. So that's a little bit of an update. I gave it a quick little cut. Um, but anyway, that's uh, pretty well it for now. I'll keep you updated on the blue cooch. Uh, if you've got any questions about it, let me know.